everyone so today's video is going to be a vlog about my first week of classes at the university of arizona as a grad student i have to leave in just about five to ten minutes and i'm nervous but really excited i only have one class today it's an evening class and i've never had a class this late so wonder if i'll like it or absolutely despise it um we'll see but it is nice having like my whole day like today woke up and had and had a lot of errands to do and a lot of things on my to-do list and was able to knock them all out before class started which was pretty nice but yeah right now i just got ready i just filmed a get ready with me for my first day of classes if you guys haven't watched that already and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what i'm wearing today and then put you guys in on how every day goes and just give a little updates all right and this is what i'm wearing so my tank top is actually just from amazon and i'm wearing a sports bra underneath that's from set active my shorts are from airy and i'm so obsessed i've gotten like three different style of sweatshorts from airy and i'm obsessed with every single one these ones are the airy weekend high rise shorts really nice and comfy and then these shoes are just from princess polly and they're like platform tennis shoes it's like the summer outfit since it's over 100 degrees so yeah and then this is my backpack it's from bag smart just a soft pink backpack so yeah I need to make sure I remember to put on my put in my laptop. I need to do that before I leave because I had it charging. But yeah, I'm about to leave to class right now, and I'll see you guys afterwards. All right, guys. So it is now like nine o'clock just got ready for bed and wanted to update you guys so i actually had a really good first day it was very very nice being back in person and on campus interacting with classmates and being in that environment again i genuinely missed it because you know last year was all virtual and then even though i was in person partially for student teaching obviously it's still a different setting than like being with your peers and being in like a normal college class so yeah i did enjoy that and so far so good with how i feel it looks like we only have readings to do every weekend before class and then at the end of the semester we just have a couple research papers to write so it doesn't look like it would be it'll, it'll be too too bad and then after class i just came back and made dinner and then watched bachelor in paradise i got home right at seven and that's when Bachelor in Paradise starts, so my roommates and I watched that. And now I'm getting ready for bed. Also very exciting, two of my throw pillows came in the mail. So I got this one and I absolutely love it. It's from Dormify. I totally love their stuff. I wish it was not as expensive, but very cute. I love the fringe, it totally goes with the vibe. And then this one I got from Ikea and it's a little bit more mauve than I thought it was gonna be just because on the website it looked a little bit lighter pink. And it's coming out a little bit lighter on camera, but it's still fine, but I thought it was gonna be a little bit lighter. But yeah, that's what the pillows look like. I'm not just thinking about it too right now. Originally, I was gonna get a frame and hang up some photos on this wall, but now I'm like rethinking and wondering if I wanna just do like a nice wall print because I'm liking how like neutral this area is that maybe just like a wall print would be better than photos. Maybe I can put the photos and hang them over here on this wall. So I don't know, I'll have to look that up and see if that's something I wanna do. So tomorrow I just have two classes, one from 11 to 12.15 and then an uh, evening class at 4.15. So on Tuesdays I only have two classes and then the rest of the week I only have one and then zero on Friday. So it's a pretty nice schedule, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. So today is now Tuesday and like I said, I have two classes today one at 11 and one at 4.15. So I'm about to head out for my 11 o'clock class. And really quickly, I'll show you guys what I'm wearing today. Okay, so this black tank top is from Princess Polly and these shorts are from Airy, and they are my absolute favorite. They are the everyday high rise short. And then shoes are from Princess Polly. But yeah, so this is the day two fit. So I'm about to head off right now and then come back before my 415 class.
All right guys, so I just got back from class and it went really, really well. I loved my professor, she was great, and my class size was like a really good size. It was like 15 people and half the class was on Zoom, half the class was in person, and she just really gave us the flexibility to choose what works for us, and which is gonna be really nice because I think on this Thursday, I'm gonna try the Zoom model, just because it's gonna be like the hottest day of the week. And instead of walking to class, I'd rather stay in my air conditioned room and it's only an hour anyway, but I think once it gets cooler, it'll be a lot easier to walk to class every day. Just because I personally prefer being in person, it gets me on a better routine and I feel a lot more motivated. Just get a lot more out of a class when I'm in person than online. So that's what I'm gonna prefer to do, but it's just really nice that I have that option and flexibility to choose what would work best for me. And also my class yesterday, we were having a whole on dis a full on discussion about the modality of the class and giving us that flexibility as well too. So it's just like awesome that we have options and autonomy to choose what we want to do and what that works best for us even though i prefer being in person other people do not feel comfortable being in person right now so it just it's great having that choice but right now i'm gonna go ahead and make some lunch i have about four hours before my next class so i need to actually edit some videos and email my advisor and then other than anything else mm, i will say i the same thing just kind of how i felt after my class last night it just seems like we just have readings to do before class and then a couple research papers at the end of the semester so so far it seems manageable two out of four classes so far done and i don't know if i said but i have a seven week course coming in in mid october but for now i have four classes so i just have one other one tonight and then a new one tomorrow that i haven't been to and then the same class I had today on Thursday if that makes sense with my schedule but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and have some lunch right now and edit some videos hello everyone this lighting is actually so terrible but whatever okay so yeah last night i didn't get a chance to fill you guys in and catch up with you guys after class because right after i actually got a safe ride home and i totally forgot about this service because i used it a lot my freshman year it's basically like free uber around the perimeter of the campus so any they have like for far points that they can go and luckily my house is within that radius so and it was perfect because I actually had a blister on my foot and I was like there's no way I'm gonna be able to walk back and plus on a side note walking to class was miserable it was so hot my whole back was sweating my straps of my backpack were literally dripping sweat it was disgusting so anyway as soon as I got back I showered and then it was already time for Bachelor in Paradise so I put that on quickly ate dinner and then um, I was so so tired that I like even went to bed at like 10 15 which is really early for me I normally go to bed at like 1 but I was just so exhausted so I went to bed at 10 15 and yeah so my class yesterday I can definitely say that I think this is a class where I'm gonna feel the most stressed about and kind of most nervous about we just have like weekly assignments um, writing assignments to do every week and it's a group work class so we're in groups the whole semester and even though we're working on groups groups aren't always everyone's favorite so especially if your grade depends on someone else so it also intimidates me since most of my uh, peers are older are older and have taught and have a lot of experience it kind of intimidates me being like literally a little guppy and being like freshly graduated and never professionally taught so it is kind of intimidating in that sense but yeah and that class was only like seven people which was really really small um, but yeah so other than that, right now I actually have a dermatologist appointment because I have a scar from my ear piercing, so I need to get that checked out. So I need to hurry up and go so I'm not late. 
but I'll let you guys know how that goes and today I just have an evening class at 4 15 and luckily it's online so I don't have to walk to campus and that should be the only thing I do and then I have homework that I actually need to get done today for a couple classes so see you guys later all right guys I just got back and they pretty much just told me to take out my piercing and do a little compress every day so currently doing that the reason why I hadn't taken out my piercing though was because I googled it and it said not to take it out because you could trap the infection but she said it wasn't in infected so it's fine but so yeah so I'm gonna see in a month if it goes away and then if it's still there they're gonna remove it but yeah right now I'm gonna make some ice chai because I'm like falling asleep and I don't know why because I went to bed so early and I got like nine hours of sleep but I'm still so tired so I'm gonna make some ice chai maybe a bagel and cream cheese All right guys, so this is my breakfast, just a bagel and cream cheese. And if you guys saw my iced chai, I used like the rest of, uh, that I had of the chocolate oat milk and then just used the rest of regular oat milk and interesting flavor. I have to try the just regular oat milk and see which one I like more because when I first tried the chocolate oat milk, I was like, mm, it's like a lot of flavors. But now I got used to it and now I really <laughs> like the chocolate oat milk. So we'll see what I end up liking. Just gonna watch some YouTube videos though while I eat my breakfast. All my roommates are gone. I'm really hoping this wakes me up because I just feel like I need to take a nap. So, so we'll see. Okay, so I ended up just taking a 30 minute nap. So I just woke up, I felt like I really needed it. I just needed a power nap because I was just so tired. But right now I'm gonna go head over to the gym. This time wearing my hat because the sun is brutal right now. And just the walk over there is not even far, but the 10 minute walk of the sun just beaming on you it's harsh so protecting my skin with this hat and then I even applied some sunscreen because I can't be reading this book and not protect my skin right so applied some sun bum and now I smell like I'm about to go to the beach but I'm gonna head over to the gym right now and then come back shower and then have a couple of homework assignments I need to get done before my class tonight All right guys, so I just had lunch and now before I have my class, like I said, I have to do a couple of homework assignments. Um, I have like three hours, I have about like two and a half hours before my next class starts. So luckily it's not too bad. I just have to do a couple readings and take some notes. So I should be done with that in a short time, hopefully. So yeah, I'm gonna do that right now and then I have class later. Okay, it looks like one of the assignments I had to get done isn't up on D2L, which is where we get all of our information, our class info. And she said she was gonna upload the readings and the discussion post, and there's nothing. So I guess I'll do that tomorrow. We have until next week to get that done. But which, what's interesting about this assignment is she wants us to do it three times, at least three times back and forth responses with our partner which is kind of annoying, not gonna lie, just because I'm the type of person, if I have an assignment, I like to just get it done once I do it. And this is kind of frustrating because I'll do it tomorrow and then I have to wait for their response and then they have to wait for my response. And then it's probably not gonna get done until like Sunday or Monday, which stinks because I'd rather it just be done and I'll have to worry about it. But I guess that's just how it's gonna be. It says no discussions available to post and there's no readings so sucks i guess i'll do it tomorrow though but right now i have about a couple a little less than two hours before my next class so i'm gonna just like plan out in my planner my calendar the main month calendar so this is my planner and it for every month there it is i'll show you guys 
a full monthly view of the month and what I like to do in the beginning of the semester is write out all important dates, when papers are going to be due, if there's tests, anything like that so I can just visually see it every month and I can plan out my weeks that week if and I know it's coming up and all that type of stuff. So I haven't done that yet for my classes this week so I'm going to do that right now and get that all situated. So yeah. Alright guys, so I'm about to start my class for today. It actually starts at 4.30 and not 4.15, which is really nice. Would have preferred if it started at 4.15 and got out 15 minutes earlier. But yeah, it's about to start in just a couple minutes. Alright guys, so my class just ended. And I will say the whole time I tried to hold back tears. I'm just feeling... Oh my gosh, I need to just cry before I feel... Anyways, I'm just feeling really overwhelmed right now. <laughs> I knew I was gonna be stressed, but to break down and cry after my class, and this is why I'm surprised because I talked to my one of my advisors last week, and like the class I just had, she's like, "Oh, it'll be really easy," but for some reason, going through the syllabus and everything, I just got really stressed out because it seemed like a lot more than I was anticipating at the end of the class. My teacher's like, who's taking five classes? Like, they let you take that many at the grad level, and I'm just like, should I just not take this many classes? I don't know. I'm like, should I just drop out it completely? I know that I wouldn't do that, and I know that I'm not gonna do that, but this is how I feel. And I keep trying to remind myself because I always am overwhelmed. First week of school, and even when I student taught last semester, I had I had a couple breakdowns just like this the first week, just because I was so overwhelmed, and it was something I wasn't used to, and just like this. And then as the weeks went on, I was able to transition smoothly and got the group of things, and then loved it. And I was like, wow, thinking back to how I was first semester versus now, like that's crazy. So I really hope that's how it is for me i don't know what to do but we'll see also another thing to know of why i was so overwhelmed was because we were going around introducing ourselves and like every single person in my class is a teacher or if there's two other ones who are not currently teaching right now but they have taught for many years and i'm the only one who freshly graduated and have not had professional teaching experience so i just have this overwhelming sense of like imposter syndrome right now but anyway like i said i'm just gonna go make dinner tonight's big brother watch big brother hopefully it'll make me feel better take it a day at a time Good morning guys, so I woke up today feeling a little better, but just still with that overwhelming feeling hanging over me. I just feels like I have so much weight on my shoulders right now and I just want it to be taken off, you know? Like I told you guys, I have one class today and it was a, the class I had on Tuesday and this is my only class for today, but um, she gives us the option to either do it remotely or in person and this is a class that I definitely would want to go in person anytime I can but just for today since today is like the hottest day of the week I was like you know what I'll just stay in my air-conditioned room and I'll have to walk to and from campus to just for that one class but I will say being on campus has been really nice it's nice like being able to walk around and see people and I just haven't been on campus in a class in two years so it's pretty crazy but yeah it starts in about 10 minutes or so and we'll see how it goes all right guys just got out of my class and it went really well i think this is probably my favorite class i'm taking this semester it's motivation for classroom learners or something like that along those lines and it's actually not even in my program. It's like an elective I'm taking in the educational psychology uh, department. Um, and it's very interesting. I really 
and I'm really liking it and enjoy it and it doesn't seem too too terrible we pretty much just read have readings every week and then we just have like three major projects that we have but they like gradually get larger um, so it doesn't seem too bad but right now all day today I actually am gonna do a lot of homework I have three well technically I have four assignments that I need to get done and I have all day today the rest of the day all day tomorrow all day Saturday all day Sunday but if you guys know me I'm not a procrastinator I like to get things done as soon as possible so I don't have to worry about them I hate when things are hanging over my head and I have things to do I rather just get it out of the way like first and then have the rest of the weekend to not stress or worry about anything so I want to get most of all these assignments done today and yeah so I can if I have things that carry over I don't have to stress about them later on but yeah that's my plan for today Good morning guys. I'm sorry I've been a bad vlogger. I did hardly filmed yesterday, but genuinely all I did after I got out of class was homework for six hours straight. It was just literally reading and writing for a full six hours. I didn't get done till six. I made dinner. And then after that, I got ready to go out with my friends and very much needed. It was really nice just being able to hang out with everyone, especially because of how hard this week was. But now I'm gonna go ahead and get my hair done, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, and I'm very excited to show you guys afterwards. All right guys, six hours later, and my hair is done. It looks so good. I just did a retouch, so a refresh of what I already had, like, you know, fix those roots and just tone everything and just brighten everything. So I love it, feel like myself again. It's very, me yeah i love it and now i was just so hungry so i just got some food and just gonna eat that and i do have a homework assignment i need to do tonight and i don't think i have any other plans so it should be a pretty chill rest of the day all right so i actually just got a package in the mail and i'm excited because i've been wanting to do a lot more organization with this room even though i said this room is done in like my last vlog I keep thinking of other things i want to add let me open this package is like some storage for my blankets because don't mind my dirty laundry and you do laundry but I want to organize those blankets right there and like put something right here because I just feel like something needs to be there so we'll see how it ends up looking just kidding what I thought was coming in the mail was actually something else I ordered ended up ordering a couple frames to hang up on that wall just because it's just too plain for me and I feel like there needs to be something there eventually my dad said he'll bring a TV in a couple months, but I figured until then, we can probably hang up these and then when the TV comes, put them one frame there, one frame there, just completely take this out. I don't like how it's too bright pink anyway. And then I got another decoration to go there. But I think that's what I'm gonna do. Good morning guys, so today is now Saturday and I actually don't have anything planned as of now which is actually kind of nice. I set my week up so that way on the weekends I didn't really have any work to do. And even though I don't really have many plans, I did have a couple like to-do lists that are small, but I need to get done. Like I need to post a video today for a brand and then laundry, which I just put some laundry in. I want to continue reading the book I showed you guys. If you watched my last vlog, I've been reading this book by Lauren Everett's Bostick and it's really good and I want to read that before my weeks continue to get crazy so I want to read and then also I need to respond to emails so those are just the only few little things also when I was eating breakfast I just made a bagel and some had some chai tea I need to make a grocery list for tomorrow because tomorrow I want to go grocery shopping but yeah that's all I'm gonna do today I figured I'm also just gonna end the vlog here so that way I can get started on editing this video that you guys are watching right now because that'll probably be my to-do list for tomorrow I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video bye guys